So it's a Sunday, the last Sunday in uh, February. Uh, oh, this is my leap year. Well, last Sunday in February. And um, uh, yesterday in the States, like we're sitting in South Africa now, but yesterday in the States they had this uh, Democratic National Committee had their voting for whoever's going to lead the Democratic, you know, the, the cat's going to lead the, I say cat because usually that's what it is. Uh, but even though last, you know, the last few years it's been like Debbie Wasserman Schultz and then Donald Brazil who both had to leave in disgrace with this Democratic National Committee. Anyway, so they had this thing. And I am so happy of the way it turned out. I'm so very happy that Keith Ellison and the progressive wing lost. I mean, they just lost the, 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 the Clinton slash Obama continuum, you know, with, with Perez who came in a month after, uh, after Keith Ellison uh, said that he was going to do it. He was actually recruited by the forces that be. I say forces that be because that's the Democratic Party, you know, the corporatists. But what's interesting in this process, because of what's happening, because of the high profile and having more people are getting to listen and, 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 and see what's going on. And one of the most telling things is, is, is this is worldwide, this is worldwide, is that this Democratic National Committee is, is, is voted on by, by basically party insiders. But these party insiders, most of them haven't changed in like 20 years. They have the same position they've had for, so for 20 years. If you want to know what's been going on with the Democratic Party, what's been going on, it's because the same people won't give way for other people to come in for what they call new blood to come in. It's interesting, the reason why I brought this up to say it's worldwide is because this is the same thing that's happened, I'm saying, all over the world. We're sitting in Africa right now. And, you know, a lot of these African leaders, they just won't, you know, and when I say leaders, I'm not just talking about leaders of countries, but of different departments, they just won't leave their, um, I don't want to say gravy train, they won't leave their, their, what, what, they've been, what, they, what they've been using as income for the last whatever many years. They just won't move out of the way and let some uh, young person come in. Which, which, which goes back to this whole other thing about no matter who you change on top, if your middle management, and I, in other words, these, these, these people that were there for 20 years, remains the same, it doesn't matter who's up on top, now does it? And, that, and that's, that's what's happening in the world today. But back to the day, I'm so very happy because now progressive people, they got to bite the bullet. They got to work, 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 or not. You know what I mean? They can just, I don't know what they're going to do. Well, they, I'm sorry about me. Well, I know what I'm doing. I'm just staying by separate. I'm doing. Doing. To me, this is just a fight with, with, with this Republican, Democrat, whatever it is. And, and of course, uh, if, if, if the Republicans do whatever they do, if the Democrats take over, it's the same thing. So it doesn't really matter. I'm not in that fight. This is a fight between two people who think they control everything. And a lot of times they do, I guess. But the world is catching up. It's not going to be the same thing. I just want to lay that on you because, I, like I said, I'm a static. That, uh, <laughs> that the Democratic Party is, and they, they, they put the last nails in their cough coffin, and I'm just ecstatic. That's, that never would be uh, me being ecstatic. That's me, T, from the Patterson's taking a turn to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.